Put these on. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Anything I want. Sorry, sir. I'm afraid Frank's tied up right now. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. What's going on? Oh, he's arriving. Ah, oh, Christ. Come on, get me out of these things. Damn. <laughs> Come on, Chantel. There's no time for games. Get me out of these things. There's always time for games, Frank. All right, all right, all right. Okay, look, I'll, I promise I'll do the Peruvian sheep herder thing if you just let me up. Now, come on. Oh, Frank, Frank, Frank. You know, I wonder what the future president of the United States would think if he finds you cuffed to his bed. This is not funny. Oh, his head of security. Damn it, huh? Chantal. Um, Uncuff me. Damn it. Uncuff me. Oh, Frank, there, 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 there. Oh, everything's so serious. Get back here. Have fun, Frank. Chantal! <laughs> damn it! God damn it! Listen carefully, this will be the last time I can contact you. We've got to stop Reed Hawk. Everything you need is in the apartment. You've received the dossiers on the different family members, and the video cameras set up and ready to go. If you can get incriminating evidence on tape, call the police. But make sure it's solid. This will be our last chance. Look, this guy's capable of anything. Maybe you can figure out a way to warn the family members if they're in danger. But for God's sake, be careful. The future of this country's at stake. We're counting on you. Will he or won't he? This is Tish Van Alden, and that's the hot question on everybody's lips during this primary season. Billionaire bachelor and business genius Reed Hawk has yet to commit himself to the race for the Oval Office. Well, hang on to your hats, folks, because he's gathering his flock this weekend to help him reach a decision. And when the Hawks get together, the feathers are bound to fly. I mean, imagine how his son Zachary must feel after his sudden promotion off the missile defense system project. Just in time for it to propel dear old dad into the White House. Getting a little chilly in daddy's shadows, Zach? And there's daughter Jessica winging her way in from Japan with a new bow and their own unique brand of environmental capitalism. Well, you may be a big success back in the land of the rising yen. But really, Jessica, considering your father's America first ideals, isn't this just asking for trouble? And of course, Reed's sister Margaret will be there to stake her claim to first ladydom. But Margaret, dear, please show some restraint. Rumor has it you're already shopping for your inaugural gown and planning the ball. Well, you better plan on trouble if your daughter Chloe shows up sporting her usual leather look. My God, Reed has paid a fortune trying to keep his niece's escapades out of the tabloids. Can you imagine what it'll cost him as president? Oh, wouldn't you just love to be a fly on the wall and listen in? Yes. Uh, now we've gotten word that Reed Hawk is arriving at Hawk Manor. We go live to Jay Jacobson at the scene. Mr. Hawk? Mr. Hawk? Sir, how do you feel about being ahead in the latest presidential polls? Sounds like folks are ready for a change, doesn't it? Your missile defense shield has virtually ended the threat of nuclear war, but does that make you the best man for president? I never said I was. I leave that to the people to decide. Oh, come on, Mr. Hawk. Isn't it a fact you've already decided to spend whatever money you have to in order to buy this election, sir? Excuse me. Uh, I don't think I know you. Jacobson, Channel 6. Well, Mr. Jacobson, 
My family always comes first. Uh, we're going to spend the next two days talking it over, and then I will decide about accepting the people's mandate. Now, if you're asking me, is the future of our country and the welfare of our children worth my risking my personal fortune? The answer is a resounding yes, it is. Okay? Have a great weekend, folks. Still no decision from Reed Hawk. We'll bring you further reports as this story develops.
Son of a bitch. Laura, wait up. Put him through. Bob! How are things with you and the miss? Don't you Bob me! What the fuck are you trying to do to me, it's Hawk? nothing personal, Bob. When people call, I never oh, know what... Oh, my ass! If you think I'm gonna let you pull my pants down in front of the whole... Slow down, Bob. World. I'm just doing what's best for the country. Look, you dropped the ball. What ball? This isn't a Let's face game. it, Bob. If we don't fix this economy, there won't be a country left for anybody Brady, to run. Son of a... She's here. I know Sorry, Bob. I gotta go. My family's Wait a minute. Arriving. You talk. You sheep shot back. Margaret, I expect you to treat Martha with respect. <sighs> Although, you know, I think maybe the yellow would have been better. And I had things in this room that meant a lot to me, and I want them back. Now! Is that clear? Well, I suppose we could have some of the help rummage about in the basement, but I... I don't think... <laughs> I don't think we've saved very much. I don't think I can go through with this. You like it when I use my tongue, don't you? Yeah. <sighs> Give me your full attention. Oh. Oh, you call that oh. full attention? <sighs> Let's see if this gets your attention. What's that? You're not going to use that. Chateau, I mean, I don't think. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's very good, oh. boy. Oh, say thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Up, friend. Okay, shut up. I'll be quiet. This is my favorite time. House is quiet, just the two of us. I remember how good that used to be. Margaret, we've all got a busy day tomorrow. I'm going to call it a night. Good night, we.
I can't let it get to me. I gotta keep it together. <laughs> don't blow it. Just, just don't blow it. Uh, yeah, it's Bernie at the shop. Your car's ready. We close at 5. Delivery for Mr. Hawk. I'll... I'll take it. Oh. Uh, Hawk residence? Yes, thank you. Mm. No, no. Mm, uh, well, maybe, but frankly, it sounds a bit... Barbara. <laughs> uh. Uh, I'll call you back. Reed, Chantal, Frank. Damn. Did they find any? Okay, yeah. I'll be careful. I'll try to call you when I know more. Frank, Chantal, you never intended that I would be a part of your campaign or that I should go to the White House, did you? Margaret, honestly, oh. you see a few airplane tickets and you immediately jump to conclusions. You know perfectly well how much I appreciate everything that you've done. Appreciate. You appreciate that I was like a mother to your children. After Elizabeth's suicide. 
Or is it my cooperation after father's accident on the boat? But you appreciate I know what you're capable of, Reed. And if you try to leave me behind, so help me. You'll what? <laughs> you won't do anything because you were there every step of the way. You were a vital part of everything that happened. And if I go down for that, my dearest sister, you go down with me. And we both worked much too hard to let that happen. <sighs> Haven't we? <laughs> I have plans for you, dearest heart. Oh, you do. Great plans. I have plans for all of us. in time, you would have been proud of me. It's gonna take a lot more than that to earn my admiration. How much more? I'll let you know when I'm ready to play Frank. Now let me get some work done. Well, anything's possible, but I don't think you realize just how much a project like that could cost. Educate me. You mean us? There's organizational groundwork. There's going to be R&D. We're talking at least a hundred million just to start. I can swing that. And I think I know where I can get more. You're serious about this? Well, the problem is I have the faintest idea how to distribute. Well, I certainly do. I'm tapped into every eco-network on the map. Well, we could really put some teeth into this with a mandate from the UN. I can get that as president. Are you willing to put all this in writing? You get your ideas together and I'll call my people. We'll meet tomorrow. Great. Jess, you make me very proud. <sighs> Thanks, Dad. <gasps> Get me the file on this massive character. What if somebody was watching you right now? <laughs> Taking part in your world, sharing your secrets, imagining your thoughts, dreams, and pleasures. Sometimes I make sure that I'm watched. Yeah. The thought of someone there makes my heart beat faster, my hands shake, and a warm feeling spread throughout my body. <laughs> I like being watched. 
Oh, wow. Oh, it's great. <laughs> oh, I thought leather would be rough. Mm -mm -mm. Only when you want it to be. <laughs> You've got the perfect body for this dress. <laughs> Chloe? What? Have you seen Laura? Yeah, she's here. Laura, Reed will see you now. Okay. Chloe, can I please have my dress back? You wouldn't want to keep the old bastard waiting. Glitch is on the computer network, and I know Zach brought a laptop with him this weekend. Check it out for me. Do you want him to know about it? You know, it might be better if he wasn't there. Well, I'll wait until he goes for a drink. Perfect. Beautiful night, isn't it? Mm, yeah. I'm so glad that you came to see me. Uh, how can I help? Well, it's about Zach. It's this um, missile defense thing. I don't know what it is. Something about how you stole it from him. Uh, and he spends all of his time at that damn computer. And I think I'm losing him. Zack is a very, very lucky young man to have a treasure like you looking out for him. I have known that something was wrong between us, but I couldn't. You certainly have helped pinpoint it. The question is what to do about it. Well, if you could just find the time to talk to him, let him know how much you appreciate his talent. You are a very beautiful girl. Come on, I want to show you something.
part of the excitement lies in the forbidden, the danger of getting caught. Mm, intrigued by the notion of something taboo. <laughs> Don't you agree? Yeah. <laughs> Touche. How about a drink? You read my mind. What would you like to have? Uh, Jack, straight up. Grandpa Hawk's old football helmet. Leather. Kinky. <laughs> Here's to you, Mr. President. Do you know, I laid awake in bed every night after the first time you came to my room. Scared. Not knowing. Listening to every sound. Just waiting for that door to creak open. Your breath on my cheek. The weight of your body pushing me down. <laughs> no wonder they threw me out of school. It's the only place I could get any sleep. <laughs> Was it good for you, Reed? Fucking your own niece? You little slut. Don't play victim with me. I was 14. 14 years old. You took my life from me, you bastard. When, when I'm done telling my story, you won't get elected as dog catcher in this country. Oh. All right. And what do you want? I want you to pay. Mm. My silence is going to cost you $20 million, Mr. President. <laughs> You're crazy. You're absolutely fucking right. Well, <clears throat> I need a little time to get that kind of money together. On the other hand, I can promise you that if you whisper so much as a word of this to anybody, there will be no place for you to hide. I need a favor. You know that stun stick you showed me? None of your business. But if you're a good boy, I'll try it out on you next. Perfect. The stronger the charge, the better. <laughs> you are an excitable boy. I'll have someone pick it up. Thanks. that Zach and I have been having problems, and I guess I just thought that if I could talk to Reed about it, get him to give Zach some support, it would help things. And so he's being understanding, and, <laughs> and I think everything is going all right when all of a sudden he oh, steers me into his bedroom and hangs diamonds around my neck. starts touching me. And that son of a bitch did make a pass at me! Look, you want some advice? If you really love that guy, I would grab him and get the hell out of here. This family is completely nuts! <laughs> President, I want my project back. I want to be CEO of Hawk Industries. My team's the only one that can make it work, and I'm getting the credit for it this time. You will never be CEO of Hawk Industries. Are you insane? Do you want to play hardball with me, my boy? I will give you your damned project back and the money to run it. How would you like that? Mm -hmm. Under one condition. We don't make the announcement until after the election. We got a deal? I have to think about it. No, 
I really should have let you be a musician because I'll tell you something, if one word of this leaks to the press, we're going to wish you were playing Piano Bar in Carbondale. hell is it? Where is what? My disk. I have no idea what you're talking about. What disk? The one you took from my computer. Sir, I didn't take your disk. But even if I did, what could you do about it? Frank, one of these days, my dad's going down. And I'm going to be there to watch you go down with him. Honey, we gotta get out of here right now. I'm leaving you. Hey, Laura, Laura. I can't live like this anymore, and I will not watch you turn into your father. Wait a minute, you don't understand what's happening. No, you're right, Dad. I don't understand. I don't understand how a damn computer disk could be more important than our marriage. My disk. Where did you get this? I switched it when Chantal was snooping around. Honey, this is our ticket out of here. Out of Hawk Industries <laughs> and out of my family's bullshit Dad, don't forever. don't do this to me. Laura, I'm sorry. Please, I know I've been a complete ass. I'm sorry. Honey, I know I let things get screwed up. I don't want us to end. Everything's gonna change. Please just give me one last chance. Please don't leave me. Dad, it would be so much easier if I didn't love you. You know that there was a time when I thought I couldn't live without you. And now I know I can. But I can't live without you.
Good morning. The unit of this country is being murdered by the failed policies of the current administration and their lack of resolve against illegal drugs. For years, Hawk Industries has established and funded drug rehab centers and school education programs all over the country because this problem has touched me so deeply. This morning, the drug problem in this country struck directly into my heart. This morning, my niece, Chloe, was found dead of a drug overdose. I consider her death to be the result of a lack of action on the part of the current administration. Therefore, I am now formally announcing my candidacy as president. I am dedicating this campaign to the children of this country, and I pledge that under my leadership, they will be free from the nightmare of illegal drugs. Character. Perhaps the most valued quality of all great leaders. Reed Hawk, embroiled in personal tragedy, demonstrates how he has emerged as the clear choice of the American people. You the one that called with the stuff on Reed Hawk? So show me the tape. This tape doesn't prove anything. I should haul you in, you pervert. I wouldn't be surprised if Mr. Hawk presses charges.